Better Food for Better Health meeting have been initiated uh, several years ago. This is the fifth edition. And basically the primary aim is to put in a given place people who are not used to exchange. So for us, transdisciplinary is the key issue. And what we want in particular is to put together both scientists, people from the industry, people from regulatory agencies, in order to tackle issues that generally are not discussed in most other meetings. So we know that uh, we have thousands of different species of bacteria living in our gut. So in the past, it's very difficult to study this complex system because you need to isolate each of them and identify them, estimate their numbers, and then study their correlation with the disease. But uh, thanks to the development of DNA sequencing technology, particularly the so-called next-generation high-throughput sequencing, so now uh, you can actually get information on thousands of species, who they are, and how much you have each of them in thousands of different samples. So this gives us a huge amount of data and to capture the variations of those species. But uh, the, another technology is the computer science and technology, which gives us the capacity to analyze this data to understand the pattern out of this data. We have learned tremendously about the role of the microbiota for host physiology. Well, to be provocative, I want to say that, or I dare to say that we have to recapitulate what we have learned or what we have think about host physiology to implicate the microbiota and to integrate the microbiota into the whole system. And everything is based on a very long co-evolution um, and is based on a it's based on mutualism, on a symbiotic, symbiotic relationship between the microbiota and the host. And signals are integrated through metabolism and through immunology. But things have changed for the last years. We know now that when you give the prebiotics to feed some bacteria, there are consequences in the whole ecosystem. You can have quite important effects on the host health. You can improve the gut barrier function, you can improve the endocrine function of the gut, and you can also change many, many functions in the gut itself. And there are consequences at distance, and that's what we have studied, for example, in obesity and diabetes. You can improve by this way the low tone inflammation, the glycemia, the lipemia, the development of adipose tissue. What I think is that by having this targeted approach on the gut microbiota, we can mostly, even if people are already overweight or diabetics, we can maybe try just to improve health and to decrease some symptoms. So it's true that Microbiota Research has recently opened uh, numbers of opportunities for alimentation and, and food products uh, to provide health to, to, to people. We have, uh, in two Danone research, invested in the uh, power of uh, fermented food and, uh, and strain and different probiotics this last year's, and mainly in metabolic uh, areas, uh, in gut comfort and gut disease, and in immune resilience. Microbiota research has also opened new opportunities for approaches as fecal transplantation or transplantation of good part of the microbiota. These biotech companies will build on the knowledge uh, food companies have acquired around microbiota. They will face regulatory problems in the future or linked to safety uh, in particular and they may also have uh, issues concerning the variability of individuals towards their transplantation. But I'm sure that food companies and uh, this type of approaches uh, will build the future of a nice product to have for, for people. The microbiota value chain is very large, from the basic science 
to the therapeutic uh, approaches or intervention by nutrition approaches. Biofortis is uh, positioned in this uh, value chain at two levels. The first level as a services provider. We are uh, a CRO and uh, in this activity we conduct uh, clinical trials. Uh, we have uh, also a central lab activity with a specific microbiota platform. At uh, the second level, uh, we are invest, uh, you can say, in the global knowledge uh, because we uh, are invest in collaborative uh, project, uh, uh, in particular in oncology with the Imodi project, but also in nutrition and medicine personalized. In our company, uh, the microbiota expertise is a major stake. Our challenge is to translate uh, the knowledge to indicators to, uh, to support our customer in uh, the demonstration of the beneficial impact of their product on the microbiota.